Hello there, I am Link584 of To Monitor, and welcome to Gaming Chat. Today, it's gonna be a real quick topic. It's about the levels of violence and just disgusting levels that we can go in video games within our rating system of the ESRB, where we can have games that are M-rated, and you can have games that are adult-rated, you know. What really are the boundaries of these higher, more adult games are we willing to cross? Specifically, I actually have a printout from an article that I wrote um, about the children in games and death. Now, take a game like Oblivion or Skyrim. You can kill all the townspeople, you can do all this stuff, but you can't touch the children. Which I always found to be weird at best. Here's why. I'm going to read to you what I what I wrote and expand on it a little bit more. Children in video games is something of a gray area. More specifically, the act of death and situations of despair are what I'm going to be talking about. Children in video games are untouchable as far as us interacting with them and actually taking their life, but we can watch them die or suffer through cruel or unusual ways. Now, when I say children, I really mean characters under the appearance of 14, all the way down to the kids' real ages of 7 and 8. What are the boundaries when it comes to how we interact with and see kids in video games? Well, I personally find it odd that there can be no real line of what we can and cannot do with them. I personally am not for killing children. No way am I saying that, okay? I am not for killing children in video games. But I'm just going to bring up some comparisons here. For example, uh, I personally am not fond of killing children, but I can see how they are bring the biggest emotional situations if presented correctly. For example, having to choose in a terror situation one of your, which one of your kids may live or die would really cause controversy if they put that in a game. You're going to pick the son or the daughter. What, do you, what are you going to do? Uh, but it's just weird because we can read about those things, those those hard choices, those decisions, in something like a book, which doesn't really, as far as I know, they don't have a rating system. A book is a book. You don't know what you're getting into until you really start it, right? At least that's why whenever I go to a library or anything like that, that's what it appears to be. You know, if I go into Books a Million or what have you, I don't know what it's going to be rated, so to speak. So it's just weird that we can read about these things, but we can't put these in a game. And I wonder if it's because of their interactive nature. Uh, so like I said, that would be an indirect way of having a child's death be presented in a powerful and dark way without doing the act of killing yourself. So instead of killing a child in a video game, you have to choose. So once again, we're having the death of a child in a video game but in a different manner, rather than you taking the life. It's a situation where a bad guy takes the life. Which, if you think about, for example, the premise of the game Heavy Rain, it's about the origami killer and how he's going around killing children. So, we never see the act of it happening, but we know that it does. It's kind of like in the Nickelodeon and Disney shows, uh, you can take a Nickelodeon show such as Avatar The Last Airbender, and right away you find out that Aang, the main character of the series, is the last of his people, because the rest of them were killed. And that's pretty deep and pretty pretty heavy for it. like a seven or older uh, age group show on Nickelodeon. So I guess as long as you're not seeing it, but you still have those extremely dark tones, then you're okay. I don't understand what these boundaries are. They just don't make sense. They make sense a little bit, but they don't have a definitive way of me saying, this is why it makes sense. I just feel it. But you can't go on just a feeling. Everything in life can be explained. I can't find a way to explain this one. But I guess because it's censored, that might be the explanation. But continuing on, so there's all sorts of different situations that we should never probably even speak of. Things that could be so dark and so obscure and so bad. It just seems weird that in a game like Fallout or Skyrim, you can't kill kids. But there is a quest 
that revolves around the Dark Brotherhood in one of these two games, where a child summons you, who used to be at an orphanage. He runs away from the orphanage. What does he do? Uh, he ran away because he did not like, I guess, one of the ladies there that was running the administration. So he goes to an abandoned house, if I remember correctly, and he tries to summon the Dark Brotherhood to do his bidding. And the way that you do this is you, guess, do a ritual of some sort. And so you find this kid in this Dark Brotherhood ritual, which has him, I believe, sitting in front of a circle of blood. And if you can hear that scratching, that's my cat. Ignore that. But so he's in a circle of blood. And there, I believe, is a skeleton as well. So you can see so you have this really dark set of tone. This kid's sitting in blood. It may not be all over him, but regardless, it's a very, very dark and I think worse situation than watching a kid die. If you just took a sword across the kid and you had a ragdoll effect, that doesn't seem like anything to me. But yet we can put him in this extremely grotesque and violent situation. And then he's all excited that someone showed up and that they're going to do the bidding of the Dark Brotherhood because you're going to go kill someone on behalf of the kid who's standing in the circle of blood with remains of a human being. So, I'm going to leave you with this. I know this seems abrupt to maybe end it right here, but here's my question that I'm really throwing out is, and this is all in an M-rated game, this isn't even adult, so really, what are the limitations of what we can and cannot do? Think about them and compare them to other games things that maybe I've never played, things that you know well, and look at them and say, how can we get away with one thing, but not the other, and why? I want you to take a look within yourself and try to figure out what some of these answers are. What are you comfortable with? Why is the industry okay with doing one thing, but not another, when it just seems like that they don't make any sort of sense? I just, like I said, find it weird that in the, you can have a game such as Skyrim or Oblivion, uh, and a very deep and interactive role-playing game, and in the game you can't kill children, but in the very same game you can go ahead, kill their parents, and you can help a kid who summon a member of the Dark Brotherhood surrounded in blood, skeletons, and ask you to go kill his orphanage mother I don't get it so please leave your comments below on anything related to the grotesque nature of what is out there what are we okay with why are we okay with it and just kind of pick at this subject as best as we can now I'm just using the Skyrim example but I'd love to hear more examples than just that one I don't want it to be about Skyrim doing this or what I want this to be about general discussion about the violence in the games, why are we okay with something, and so on. So I hope I hope you get what I was trying to say. My name is Link584, and you know, this has been an interesting conversation. So oh yes, if you don't know, I'm gonna fade out, and there's gonna be a wall of discussion behind me, where your comments will be annotated on this black screen behind me. So once again, it's been an interesting conversation. Goodbye.